So let's discuss now what happens if k is between 0 and 1. So it's a fraction. So for example, sketch y is equal to, let's say, 1 third root of x. Okay, this can be written in terms of f at x in the following way. Since f at x was root of x, I can say this is 1 third of f at x. True? Okay, the transformation mapping is clearly the following. x doesn't change. Right, x is what we're, what, what we're applying the function to. But what changes after the function gets applied, we times it by a third, so the y gets multiplied by a third. OK? OK, so you know in the original picture, we have 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2 in the original y equals f, the root of x. So function is root of x. So this is very nice now. We can use that to get our new points. So what are the new points now, guys? The x doesn't change. Zero. What happens to y? They all get multiplied by a third, One third. and 2 over 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 1. So when it's 1, it's 1 third. When it's 4, now it's only 2 thirds. It's extremely flat. Like that. So the original picture, okay, the original picture was here. 1, 1, 1, 1, and 4, 2. Look how much flatter it is. This the blue is original. The black is a new one. And what happened was this. X stayed the same, but the Y got shrunken in size. It got vertically. We wouldn't call this vertically stretched. What would you call it? Yes. This when K is between zero and one, we call this vertical compression. And we say it's been vertically compressed by factor of, in this case, one third, right? Okay. Right. The picture and the description makes sense, right? Okay. Let's do an example with the absolute value function. Okay. So let's sketch y is equal to the absolute value of x times by half. What would this look like? Okay, so let me recall what it looks like. The three important points for absolute value is the origin, 1, 1, and negative 1, 1. Pretty much with these three points, I can draw it. Yeah, like that, right? I can draw it like that very quickly. So what is the transformation of this? This can be written as half of A at X, right? So what's the transformation? Right, the x, so transformation mapping, x doesn't change before we apply a. So x stays the same. What changes is the result, a, so we get half of y. So let's plug in these points, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and negative 1, 1. Let's plug these in, see what we get. 0, 0 doesn't get affected. Okay, 1, 1 becomes 1 half, negative 1 half. Okay, so let me plot it on top of this graph here. At 1, it's not 1 anymore, it's half. At negative 1, it's also half. The 0, 0 doesn't change. Okay, let me change color. This is what we get, right? Oops. Look, again, it's been compressed down.
vertical compression. Okay, do you guys have any questions?